Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna speak about the Bitbox Zero 2. It's an open source hardware wallet from Switzerland and today we're gonna unbox it, install the software and get our very first crypto on this hardware wallet so you know step by step what to do. Once you get your Bitbox then your Bitbox should look exactly like mine so it's sealed away in a big paper. Um, it look should look exactly like this, not open or ripped open or any air in it, it's sealed away without air. If you're interested in other hardware wallets, then we have some comparison videos and other tutorials about all the different hardware wallets in the market. So please check out our playlist up here and then you can check them out too. But today we're gonna talk about the Bitbox and once you receive your Bitbox, it should be sealed away without any air in it like ours. If there's anything ripped or there's air in it and you think your wallet has been open, uh, open before, then contact Bitbox and um, yeah, send this back and get a new one because maybe your device might be compromised or they did something to it. So be better sure because otherwise you will lose your crypto. In our case, everything is all right. Um, it should be also be here on the back. It's from Switzerland. You have the OLED display, USB-C, USB-A, uh, easy backup, restore on micro SD. So that's something actually was different to the Tether and to the Ledger. That you can secure your seed phrase on a micro, use, uh, micro SD card uh, instead of just making the hard copy. So we're gonna do that too today. Um, let's unbox it and let's take a look what's inside the box. Okay, and from here on, we don't have any ceilings. It's just a packaging, so you can just slide it out. And we have the bit box here. Open it up. Ooh, very nice. And then the bit box, it doesn't have a touch display, but it has a um, sensitive touch area on top and then above, on top and then the, below the bit box. So we will explore that too. That's a very interesting mechanism normally they have like buttons or touchscreen this is a little bit different and then once we open up we see the instructions for tapping on top then sliding and then holding holding is for confirmation then we, here we have the little sd card uh, where we will store our seed phrase so let's take that out okay important to know is that this SD card is not to put it in into your computer or something that's defeating the purpose. It's an yeah, offline storage method for your seed phrase, which you will put only in your Bitbox. And then uh, while, we install it, while we've been installing it, the seed phrase will be uh, stored on this SD card. And then later on, you have to keep that SD card safe and secure in a different place, place than your hard copies of the seed phrase. So. Yeah, keep that in mind. We'll, we'll get to that later on. And here we have our Bitbox. It's a nice little device. Okay, let's remove the safety film of the display. Very pretty. And then on the left side, we have the connector to the computer. So this directly goes into the computer and you don't need like a cable for it. And then on the right side, you can put in the SD card. And that's it for the middle part. Below we will find the cable to connect to our device. Oh, that's great actually. So if you don't want to connect your Bitbox directly into the computer, but you want to have a little bit more room, then you can connect it down here and then go to your device. So we're gonna use that because my computer is down there. So that's very handy. What else? Besides that, we have the getting started manual for the Bitbox. Let's open it up. Uh, it's telling us the mechanics one more time. How we get started, we have to go to shiftcrypto.ch and then start download the Bitbox app. Insert the SD backup card into your Bitbox. Follow the app instructions to set up the Bitbox. Store the device password on the micro SD backup card safely away from the Bitbox 02. 
All right, and then the operation manual. And then what we have in this box, the bit box, the SD card, USB-C extension cable, USB-C to USB-A adapter, rubber poles and labeling stickers. So yeah, these are the labeling stickers of the bit box. And then some like ah. And then one more device. We have a little ah, we have a little attachment for the PC, so USB-A to USB-C and a little keychain holder. And that's all we have in our packaging in the Bitbox package. All right, next what we have to do is go to the Bitbox website and download the software. So if we go to the official site, bitbox.swiss, then we are on the official side of Bitbox. There we can see the hardware wallet, which you can buy. We have the Bitbox 02. Please only buy the device from the official website. Do not buy them from different retailers or resellers because you might risk that the device have been uh, compromised or they put in any software and then your crypto is in danger. Only buy the ones from the official site. We will link the site down in the description as well so you can click on that and then bookmark it for yourself. All right, if we click app on the site, then we will get to the site and then Bitbox app and we can download that. You, once you click download, you can choose between Windows, Mac and Linux. We have a Mac, so we downloaded that and installed it already. So you don't have to wait for the installation process. In the tutorial, I'm going directly to the website of Bitbox and downloading the app there. But if you go to, uh, if you follow the instruction manual and go to shift crypto.ch slash start, then you will be directed or redirected exactly to the same page we've been using on the official site and you can choose your software. So it's exactly the same, don't confuse on this step. I just double check for you because I noticed. Now, since we have the Bitbox software downloaded, we can install that and start. Once you install the software, you will be greeted in the app with the installation guide. Welcome to the Bitbox app. Thanks for choosing the app, how I can get my device and so on and so on. Please take some time and do this in, in a private room and then carefully walk through the guides, through the tutorial, watch the video, and then set this up and have this once done correctly and safe. Don't be distracted while doing this because otherwise you will risk that you forget the step or forget to write down something or forget your password and then afterwards you will lose your crypto. Setting up a hardware wallet is easier than you think and it only takes about 10 minutes and then you have your hardware wallet secure and done for the future. Um, important to know is that the crypto is not actually stored on a device, it is stored on a blockchain, but this device is used to confirm and make transactions with this wallet. So it's like a uh, yeah, security layer for yourself and for your crypto. So keep that in mind. If you create a hardware wallet, then this wallet is actually created on the blockchain and the crypto is on the blockchain, the tokens, not on a device. So if you should lose the device or get it stolen, then you could get a new device and then enter your seed phrase and um, restore your device. So let's get to this point and I will explain everything. We're closing the guide and we need to connect our device to get started. Okay, let's connect the device. All right, I have connected my USB-C cable to my computer and now we will connect the BitBox with the cable as well and insert the micro SD card. Once it's in, you will hear a little clicking. And then as well here, if you put in the bit box into the cable, you will hear a click. Okay, let's get started by installing the firmware of your Bitbox 02, okay? Let's install. And the installing process started and we can see the progress on the Bitbox as well on the software. The firmware installation will not start unless you haven't plugged in the SD card. I tried that before and it hadn't started. Once the firmware is installed, we are asked to tap the site. As I told you before, there is no touch screen with the Bitbox. There's just like tap sensitive areas, I would say. So tap the site, all right. And it confirms in which way we are looking on the device. And now we have to verify the pairing code. So on the screen, we see a pairing code and then we see the same pairing code on our device. So it's just double checking that the correct big box is connected to the correct software. Then on the right side, we have to tap on the device on the tick, and then it is 
confirmed and we have to confirm on the software. Now is Bitbox asking us if you would like to create a new wallet uh, or if you want to restore our old wallet, meaning restore from the microSD card. So if you had a Bitbox before, uh, simply enter or insert the microSD card with your recovery phrase or we restore the recovery rewards with our wallet. Normally the other wallet providers give you a little hard copy where you can note down your uh, seed phrase, but in our case we don't have that. So we will have to get a little sheet of paper and note them down too. But that's a step for later on. Uh, we will see that option in the settings. So for now we create a new wallet. As I told you before, they are storing the seed phrase on the microSD card. So we don't have to do that right now. Bitbox name. So let's name this one coin tracking. Bitbox02 and hit continue. Now we have to set a password on the Bitbox. To set a password on the Bitbox, we have to again interact with the tapping sections. So we see we have the capital ones and then down here the letters. Let's say we want to set our password for the Bitbox. It's going to be A. B, C, and then let's change to maybe, oh, okay, left was deleting, maybe C, D. Okay, that's our password. Of course, this is a very easy password. It's just for the demonstration purpose, but the intention behind the password is that you set a password to lock the device. So this is basically, if you want to imagine, um, like the credit card pin and the credit card. So if someone knows your password for the Bitbox, then they can interact with it and send the funds away or sell your crypto. So you should set the password on your hardware wallet so only you can access that. Meaning if someone finds the device and it's unlocked and plugs it in, then they can move your funds. So please set a password. And if you forget your password, then you can still uh, recover your wallet with the seed phrase. So. It's not a big deal if you forget your password because you can yeah, set a new one later on, but only in a combination with your SD card or the hard copy of the seed phrase. So choose a wise and good password and then we can confirm the whole thing once we click or hold the sides. Now we have to repeat our password. So they're making sure we remember our password. So it's going to be A, B, C and then D. Okay, now confirm our password and success. Now in the app, we can see some instructions from the Bitbox for the backup. So you will now create a backup on your microSD card. So the one we inserted here on the side. Before proceeding, please read these important security considerations. Uh, I should store my backup in a secure location. So keep it in a different location than the Bitbox because if someone finds the SD card and they know there are the seed, there's the seed phrase on it, then they will simply restore your wallet on this Bitbox and then give it a new password and then our password uh, wouldn't matter anymore. My backup is not password protected. Anyone will access it to it can access my wallet. Exactly. If someone finds this SD card, they simply can insert it into a Bitbox and then recreate your wallet on a new Bitbox. So keep it safe. If I lose or damage my Bitbox, so you are too. The only way to recover my funds is to restore from my backup. Again, either the SD card or the hard copy. If I lose or damage both my backup and my Bitbox, then my funds will be lost. I should not insert my micro SD card backup into a computer, phones, printer, or any device other than the Bitbox too. Exactly. Once you, well, you could technically do it, but once you do it, then you defeat the whole purpose of having your crypto offline because once you connect to your computer and your computer is compromised, then they can get your seed phrase and then again, you will lose your funds. So it's a full cycle. Just keep the seed phrase offline. Once you ticked all the boxes, then we can continue and confirm today's date on a bit box. So let's see today's that's correct. Then we can tick backup created. It will sync with the computer date and we are ready to go. Let's click get started. And we see you can buy Bitcoin and set up a DCA savings plan into the Bitbox app. All coins are sent straight to your Bitbox 02. Click on buy in the lower left to get started. So you can buy crypto directly on the Bitbox. 
keep the micro SD card stored separate from the BitBox unless you want to manage backups. All right, now we can remove the SD card which contains our seed phrase. We are now in our portfolio and we can see we had Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum in it. And let's go to the settings first and then go to advanced settings or manage device and show recovery rewards. The, the recovery rewards are, as I told you before, the seed phrase words. So these are either the 12 words or 24 words, which you should write down on a hard copy. So we're gonna do that really quick. So we have the double backup. We have one, the backup on the micro SD card and then a hard copy. To see our 24 words or 12 words, the seed phrase, we have to unlock our device one more time. So we have to enter our code A, B, C, D. And one more time, the password is only to unlock the BitBox device. This is not to restore your wallet or something. It's just to unlock the device. Confirm it. And now we will see recovery rewards. Please write down the following words. Let's grab a piece of paper and then write down those words. Now the BitBox tells us, please confirm each word. So we click it and then we will see all the words on our BitBox again. So I will quickly confirm the words if I have noted them correctly on my piece of paper. And actually it doesn't ask us if the words are correct, but it lets us select the words on the BitBox. So it tells us what is the first word? What is the second word? What is the third word? And gives you like three or four options. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six options to choose from and we have to choose each word uh, from one to 24. So the BitBox knows, okay, we noted our seed phrase correctly. So this will take a little bit of time again. So please do that carefully and then we will proceed from there on. And the BitBox confirms backup created. So we successfully created our backup, which means exported our seed phrase. All right, <clears throat> now we can go back into our BitBox. So we'll go to my portfolio and this is the starting page of the BitBox. Now we want to get some funds into it. We set it up, we unboxed it. Now let's get some money into our BitBox. Ethereum is pre-selected already. If you want to uh, select other chains, then simply go to settings and then go to manage account and then show tokens. And then here you can enable Tether, USDC, chain link and so on and so on. These are the options you have with the BitBox. And then if you go back to the accounts, then you see USD coin, Tether and so on. So let's get some Ethereum into our BitBox. And for that, we go back to our browser, then head to MetaMask. And here we see, okay, we have 0.1 Ethereum in it. Then we need to click on Ethereum, receive Ethereum and then verify the address on the BitBox. Then you will see on screen your Ethereum address where you can receive funds. It's ending with E203. And then you also can confirm that on the BitBox by sliding on the bottom, you can scrub through the display. And then in the end, we will see E203. Okay, that's the same. And then tapping on the top, confirm. All right. And then we can go into MetaMask click send, enter, and then let's send 0 0.05 Ethereum to the wallet, hit next, confirm the gas fees. And once the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain and went through, then we will see the funds in our BitBox. And then we will try also to send it back from the BitBox to the MetaMask so you know both ways how to receive funds and also how to send funds. The transaction has been confirmed on the blockchain and if we go back to our BitBox app, then we should see, we see we have $94 and that's the 0 0.05 Ethereum. So if we click on our Ethereum app, we can see we had the deposit, which is complete in our, our BitBox from MetaMask. And now the other way around, we simply click send then we have to go back to MetaMask, copy our MetaMask address, insert, insert it into receive address, Ethereum, let's send everything we have, priority normal, USD, review the transaction. Now BitBox will ask us in the BitBox app if we want to 
send the funds to this address, we can scrub again through it on the bottom and then on the top right, we can confirm the transaction. Let's do that. Total amount is 0 0.05 Ethereum, then it shows the fee, confirm that too. With two thumbs now, with two fingers now, and transaction confirmed. And the transaction was has been signed and sent in the app already, so we don't have to double confirm, we confirm everything in the little device. Now, if we go back to our portfolio, then we can see our funds are at zero again. And if we go into the Ethereum app, then we can see, okay, we have here a sending transaction, which is still pending. And then once it hits complete or switch to complete, then it should be back in our MetaMask. We have been waiting now for about two minutes. So the transaction should be completed on blockchain and it is not shown in Bitbox. So we probably have to just reconnect the Bitbox and then we have the most recent data in it but let's go back into MetaMask and yes, we see we received the 0 0.05 Ethereum. So let's double check if we get the refreshment in the app once we reconnect. So let's go back, reconnect. The Bitbox is starting up, tap this side, see the Bitbox app. Okay, we have to enter a password, A, B, C, and D. Confirm with two fingers. The bit box is unlocking. And now in the app, we should see our account gathering historical data. So yeah, it is refreshing our account. And once it has loaded, we see zero. Okay, the funds are gone. And we go to Ethereum and we see the transaction has been updated and is complete. We hope this video was useful to you and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below. We'll happily answer them all. Today you learned how to unbox your Bitbox, set it up and then get crypto and send crypto away. If you are interested in more hardware wallets or exchanges please check out our playlist above and we have a lot of stuff there. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and we wish you happy trading. Bye bye.